are here too by Bob and Hartzink. And this one is again about our 5D persona, our 5D version. And this time, of course, I bring in for you the Ascension archetypes that you already know from the shorts and you keep on getting more in the shorts. So what does it all mean, Ascension archetypes? If you don't know the whole story here, here it comes in a short version. So Ascension archetypes are the archetypes that are now emerging, that leaving behind the 3D traps, the 3D consciousness. So it means in essence they are no longer locked into the positive and negative expression. In the past, in the 3D realities that we have moved for a very long time, we always had a positive and negative expression. It was very difficult to heal the negative. It was very difficult to become the positive version. And when we are fully going into 5D and the Ascension archetypes, we are leaving that positive and negative expression behind. So we have stepped beyond duality into non-duality, into our I am presence, into harmony again, back to paradise, as the indigenous call it. So the ascension archetypes can be many different things. The ones that came to me are just the ones that came to me. What is important is that you find what resonates. Not what I explain that makes sense here, but what resonates in your heart. And if you have another one, take it. It's actually very simple. So I want to share with you some of the Ascension archetypes, obviously, that came through for me. The primary one is always the sound and consciousness architect. And this is much about what we're writing, what we're doing activations on, what we're doing free master classes on, how we work with people. So this is for us the, the center point. And so this is the sound and consciousness architecture that also has, of course, the architecture of the heart that unplugs, unlocks and unifies, that gives that map of, of um, the consciousness that is arising now beyond. So a very important one. Ar consciousness architecture is accessible to all of us. If you resonate with it, again, you put your unique piece there. We are sharing what we are having. And you make it your own in your world, in your fields, in your work. And this applies for all ascension archetypes. The other one that is, of course, very interesting is the key. Is another one that I resonate with. So the key is opening up the things that were closed before, just like that. Whether it's consciousness, whether it's insights, whether it's wisdom, can be anything. The key, in my case, also has to do with sound. You know, frequencies, sound are actually very powerful. And so the key can also be a key through sound that opens up these higher levels of consciousness that opens up these new octaves that allows us to connect our gold print whatever it may be so key is a beautiful archetype looking forward and it again can be in your field in your world in your work another one that's interesting is a compass so somebody who knows actually the way what we call the true north here on this planet Earth, it's very funny, regardless if you live in the southern hemisphere, like we do, or in the northern, northern, the true north is always north. What that means, I don't know, but it means a compass is always attuned to a true north, I would call source. So also very exciting. We have the mavericks who are these free spirits not limited by not limited by any restrictions by paradigms by mindsets they are just free and there is many 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 more so it's not about me telling you what the archetypes are as ascension in ascension it is about you finding your own you resonating 
and you stepping out of the duality of the old archetypes so this is the key here so stepping out is really the main theme and I'm gonna make sure I actually stick to my notes sometimes it's very easy to get sidetracked so let me stick to my notes three things that you're stepping out of as an ascension archetype to get that 5d experience and beyond version of yourself and it is drama drama is one of the major things that really keep us in there the drama triangle there's many different theories that are addressing that in psychology and many other philosophies and science and whatever and the drama has to do with the hero the rescuer and the judge there's different names for that it's also the villain so whatever you want to name these three positions essentially it's about one wants to be the hero and rescue one is the one who judges you and the other one is the one who did it all so you can see blame shame guilt right wrong duality all fits right in here into this drama triangle and how do we step out and it's very interesting we can play all roles just as it flows i would say so when we step out we're really stepping into the i am presence what does it take well you can go the way of self-enlightenment and take the steps you can go through the way of healing modalities please note healing is in general a side effect if you only focus on the healing it doesn't mean that you really evolve it doesn't mean you get into enlightenment healing is a tool to get us there wonderful healing is great but remember you don't need to heal forever and actually the physical body is not really what you're healing and to be an ascension archetype and be that you in 5d is not about healing the physical body i hope that's clear if you have more questions just let me know so as we're stepping into this i am presence which is obviously beyond the duality we have stepped out how can we do that there's many many ways again if you want to know more ask me also i will put maybe some videos in at the end of this video so you can check out what we have in our library about that the other one is suffering so if we're going back to buddha gautama came actually to end the suffering for humanity because suffering is very very binding as your 5d version you stop suffering you have stepped out of suffering and there's a saying you cannot avoid what's happening but you can choose if you want to suffer or not so in your 5d version in your 5d consciousness and reality there's no more suffering because you understand it's an option and it's not who you truly are and you don't need it the last one that you're stepping out of is fear fear of course is something that we have been brought up with fear of danger fear of whatever higher forces fear of sickness and it's important that we're stepping out we all have our own experiences with that so you have yours and it's important that you recognize this and that you recognize that and step out fear can take us into all kind of weird places but surely not into higher consciousness or 5d it doesn't mean that you don't recognize a dangerous situation it doesn't mean you walk into open knives fear sits in your primitive mind for a very particular reason to recognize fear and don't go there but fear is not your state of being fear is also depression but this is not who you are and as your 5d version and the ascension archetypes that you're choosing 
in that journey in 5D the fear you will have left behind. So here we go. How do the Ascension Archetypes help you to enjoy that 5D reality, that 5D persona, that 5D you? You're stepping out of these three very important things. The fear, the suffering and the drama. If you need more about that, just let me know and we will create it. There's plenty to say about it, as you can imagine. For today, thank you so much and welcome Ascension Archetypes. I hope you enjoy the shorts as well. They will continue. Take good care.